So, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, cool, I love these cool mornings, here in Central Florida. And, you know, we don't get too many cool mornings this late in the year, or um, this far into the year. And I can actually see my breath in the air. Ah, oh, it's nice. But anyway, <laughs> as you know from the heading, here are two of my beautiful girls. Good morning, girls. That right there is Chili. And here's Wendy. Two of my beautiful little... Beautiful little... little I don't know what I was going to say there. Beautiful little uh, Cooney Cooney girls. And they are both heavily pregnant. Very heavily pregnant. And uh, yeah, we moved them last night into their new areas here where they will be giving birth to their litters and they've got some nice clean grass to eat and make nest out of and they should be uh, happy here should have piglets definitely within the next two weeks probably within the next week if not sooner hey Wendy good morning they're not wanting to move there they are both miserable. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey, Chili. Look at... Oh. Chili's huge. Yeah, I know, sweetie, huh? She's ready to go. She doesn't even want to move. <laughs> must be... Must be miserable being pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> to all you women out there that have been pregnant... Mm. I mean, let alone the fact that you've got creatures alive inside of you moving, which freaks me the frick out, right? I couldn't, oh gosh, even thinking about it, uh-uh, <laughs> living, living thing inside of me moving. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I went there, but uh, yeah, look at, she's got her teats coming in nice, and her, well, her vulva's right there, pressed up again hidden behind the water dish, but she's pretty swollen, so she's ready to go. Probably within the next few days, for you know, if not any moment. But anyway, just making a video on the Cooney Coonies. I, I love my Cooney Cooney pigs. They are an amazing breed. They're super friendly. They are just docile, they're sociable, very friendly pigs, and uh, they eat pretty much tons of green. <laughs> Two really awesome things going for them is they can subsist on very little quality feed, I'll say, and they can eat weeds and grass, and they truly are a, a pasture pig. They can live off of that no problem whatsoever and of course supplemented with some you know protein thrown in there but if you absolutely had to in a setting where you couldn't buy commercial feed or couldn't put really anything into them these pigs would be awesome thrown out of the pasture and movable little paddocks or cages and they would do perfect we were actually looking into the Idaho pasture pigs this year. I love the Coonies. The only downside to the Coonies is they do grow a little slow. But they grow slow because they are able to eat, you know, grass. There's not really any pigs. I've raised wild pigs, you know, parentheses, and, and several breeds. And they, they can't. They have to have the high protein. They have to have the higher grain. Or they just don't do well. And the Cooney Coonies are the complete opposite. You could literally grow forage. You could plant yourself a forage crop of wheat or barley, corn stalks, oats. And they could literally live 90-95% off of that with some you know, scraps thrown in, boiled eggs, some kind of feed. Where your standard breed pigs aren't going to be able to do that at all. So that's the one amazing, super amazing thing they have going for them is the feed. And they can actually put weight on when they're eating that green. 
And the other thing is uh, their temperament again. So calm, so gentle. Even the boars are big babies. You know, you go and scratch them. When we were moving these girls out of the boys yesterday, Baconator and Dave, all they want to do is you scratch them, and they literally fall right over <laughs> to get their bellies rubbed. And Baconator, I'll have to go get some video of him. My uh, beautiful cootie cootie boy, Baconator, he's, he's my favorite. Boy. Not anything wrong with Dave, but anyway, he's got tusk on him now. He's a full lawn mature cootie cootie boy. I think he's four years old now. And he has got beautiful tusk on him. They're sticking out now. But he is so friendly. And yeah, don't even worry about my son being near him. Hey, Chili. Hey, sweetie. But super awesome temperaments. But anyway, back to the Idaho pasture pigs. Hey, Chili, Chili. I know, sweetie. And we went and looked at a breeder here in Florida. Two breeders, actually. And got to interact with those pigs some. And a lot of people are saying those guys are cooney coonies on steroids or what cooney coonies should be. That's not exactly true. Well, they do grow faster than cooney cooney pigs. They have none of the temperament. None of it. They are very much standard pigs when it comes to their temperament. The Idaho pasture pigs. And they do not do well on forage and pasture do not do as well as cooney coonies do hey wendy hey sweetie so big difference and we decided to just stick with the straight cooney coonies because the idaho pasture pigs don't have the temperament and do not have the feed capabilities like the cooney coonies so of course there's a trade-off the idaho pasture pigs grow faster but in the same page they need to eat more and they need to eat more grain and protein and whatnot to get that size and their temperaments aren't worth it so sticking with our lovely coonies here and yeah going like that hang on a moment Oh, okay, here they go. Chili got up. Hey, Chili. Hey, Wendy. There's my two pretty girls. Look at them. But, oh, yeah, you can see Chili there. She's ready to blow. Look at her. Hey, Wendy. Wendy's my my pretty girl, huh? There's my Wendy girl, huh? Come here, sweetie. She's a good girl. They're hungry. It's a feeding time. With them being pregnant, we give them, they get boiled eggs every morning, and they get a little bit of uh, good quality dog food, just because they're pregnant. Hey, hey girls, hey girls, I know, it's coming, I should have fed you first, huh? I'm sitting here yakking and I'm feeding you, huh? <laughs> but they pretty much only get that when they're pregnant, which... They probably don't need it as much as we give, but obviously, you know, you want your best for your animals, so you help them and supplement them. You know, that's the whole point of raising animals. But anyway, you can see both their vulvas there. They're ready to blow. Hopefully we'll get... They've, uh, Wendy has had four, three or four litters for us now. And she normally has given us eight piglets, I think, every time. Maybe nine once. Chili here is uh, looking a bit bigger than Wendy this time, so we'll see what she gives us. Oh, they're hungry. They're, you got some food for us? <laughs> now, even though they can do extremely well and survive and thrive off of green and pasture, they are still pigs, guys. <laughs> if you give them, the, you know, scraps and, and dog food and pellets, whatever, they will eat it. The only thing is they will get very, very fat. They don't need it, and that's the whole point. They will get massive. If you give them all that protein and all those calories, they will get too fat. So they're definitely very well adapted to eating the green. 
and doing well on it. I know, girls. Without having to really supplement it. But, you know, again, when they're pregnant or if you want to butcher them, it doesn't hurt to throw them the extra food and the scraps and everything. But, yeah, awesome pigs. Just sitting here yakking. They're ignoring me now. <laughs> they're wondering where the food is. <laughs> hey, Chili. Like, she's not even looking. She's like, you don't have food. I'm not paying attention to you. It's like, where's my morning food? Another thing, I think I think if it's been on the internet some, that these guys will eat hay. I've never had any of my cooney coonies eat hay. Maybe if they're starving, but no, they do not eat dry hay. <laughs> They'll eat grass. They love green grass and green weeds, and they absolutely love green corn stalks. I'll grow corn throughout the year just to feed them the stalks. They will. They love that, but they do not eat dry grass hay. Hey, Wendy, what? You ignore me too? Who's your pre-nose? Who's your pre-nose, huh? I know. Look at that pre-nose. Those big ears, huh? <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> I can't reach you, sweetie. I can't reach you. you see what I mean? <laughs> She's like, yep, okay. And the food ain't coming. Scratch my belly. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. So I scratch my belly. I can't reach your belly, Wendy. I can't reach your belly. I'll scratch your ear. I can't reach your belly. <laughs> I'm not in there with you. Yeah. But she's not as far along as Chili, but they're getting ready to blow. Her teats aren't completely filled with milk yet. Where, where uh, Chili over there is coned up. And she's even leaking. <laughs> hey, Wendy. Well, yeah, guys, there's a video on my CUNY CUNYs and a bit of insight onto them versus Idaho pasture pigs. You know, it depends on what you want. If you can handle a slower growing pig, or can not really slower grow, they do really well. You know, um, in about a year, you can put your. Uh, uh, you know, one from a piglet and have them, you know, about 60, 70, 80 pounds, which is not bad. You know, it's very manageable for a smaller family. You don't have a 800 pound pig to deal with. So, they're very manageable for meat pigs on a smaller property. Their feed conversion is absolutely amazing. Temperaments are absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, they're just really great pigs, especially on a smaller scale, and especially if you don't have a huge family where you can split or, you know, the meat or the work for a giant full-size pig. Cooney Cooney's really, really shine right there. And versus the Idaho pasture pigs, it's just, they're completely different animals for the people out there wanting to compare them. I'd say the Idaho pasture pigs are too much like your standard pigs. You know, you got to put too much into them. They don't do as well on the high greenery, high pasture, and the temperament is definitely not there. You know, like I was saying earlier, we went to two different breeders here in Florida, and their pigs, number one, they don't come up to you. And when you try to go up to them, very skittish of course that can change with work but the cooney coonies literally their natural default is is friendly come up to you and you know very friendly so and i like that about them especially if you have kids so there you guys go early morning little yakka chatting about cooney coonies make some videos when we got piglets we've got five girls that'll be giving us piglets in the coming months you know including these two these two are the earliest and we got three more girls to go so if you're looking for some cooney cooney piglets you know look my way you should have some nice beautiful ones off chili and wendy here chili was bred to baconator and wendy was bred to dave so unrelated males unrelated females 
pretty cool. See you guys later. Grow food. Raise some cutie cunies. See you later. All right, all right. I'll get you some food. Wendy's like, feed me too. They're ignoring me.